What's up guys? Just doing a little project this evening as usual. Uh, I've got so many hobbies I can barely keep up with it all. But yeah, I just want to take you along on the project I'm working on. And uh, <laughs> But before I do, I just want to show you kind of my shop here. This is it right here. This is my big workshop. Uh, for anyone that don't know, my wife and I are university students. We live in an apartment. Lucky enough, it was two bedrooms. So, the second bedroom is basically for me and all my hobbies. <laughs> so, I actually got the... My landlord actually gave me this little table she was throwing out kind of works to keep bins in here with uh, my stuff. I have some more tools stored out in another little uh, sort of closet area in the house. But here's where I keep all my knickknacks, bins and stuff. Uh, you see I've been working on lately restoring a couple planes. Here, this one was a gift from Ray Bartlett. I just restored. Uh, I guess I can show you around. This is also where I do my music, my editing, recording, my study is also my office space, and that's it right there. Some of my axes hanging. So yeah. So yeah, that's the workshop I'm working with. Not the best of conditions. Uh, Someday, I'm sure I'll have a big shop, maybe a nice big barn with a workshop in it. But uh, that's not the case for me right now. Uh, we all have different stages, right? So, we just got to try to do the best with what we got. Um, I hung this axe just yesterday. Found this head. It's a German head. An Iltus, an ox head. Restored it right here. Basic tools. This handle crafted here in this this little uh, room. Messy in the house, but uh, but it's a real nice little axe now. You don't need the best of tools or the nicest best shop to get things done. You just got to be innovative. And, uh, and smart with your money. Anyways, let's get to this axe project because I'm pretty excited. So the project I want to show you that I'm working on is, um, is an axe. I'll overlay footage right now of an axe I picked, out, picked up this past Thanksgiving weekend out behind my grandfather's house. Now, my grandfather's at the point where um, he can no longer use an axe. Doesn't really know what an axe is, so as unfortunate as that is, I'm lucky to have the axe, and while well, you can see what kind of condition it is, really no edge, um, bad handle hanging, kind of garbage handle, it was left outside for a long time obviously. So I took it and cleaned it up, and uh, this is what it looks like now. You see I cleaned it up, left it, that uh, nice patina, heavy patina on there. There's some mushrooming on the on the pole, so I filed some of that off. Um, Rebeveled it, sharpened it up nicely, and now um, we've got to hang the handle. So here's what we're working with. I don't have the time or resources to to buy my own hickory. I wouldn't even have any idea where to get hickory here in Newfoundland. Certainly not in any of the hardware stores around. But uh, went to Canadian Tire, went to a couple different hardware stores, found the best handle I could find, which is this one right here. Um, it's, it's a bulky handle, too big really for my hands, but that's perfect. It's got enough material I can shape it down like I want. There's about 20 handles, here's the catch. Uh, when you're buying handles in places like hardware stores, a lot of people will knock it, but uh, You've got to check it out. You might be able to find some good ones. Like this one here. The grain orientation is near perfect. Super tight, long, straight grains. Right from top to bottom. Both sides. 
Uh, it's got a hook in the end, but let's see if I can show you that grain. Just look at that. Almost perfect straight up and down. Almost exactly what you want in an axe handle. Um, and it'll take a little bit of work up around here, some shaping. It came with hardwood wedge and two steel rings. And this handle was $12.99. It's American Hickory. So, I mean, what more could you want? No, it's not a fresh piece of wood. I don't have the satisfaction of, of seasoning wood myself, but uh, this will do a perfect job and save me a ton of time. The first thing we're gonna do here, uh, I already test fitted it in the store, but that's something else you want you want to look at. So if you're in a hardware store trying to select a head or a handle, sorry, for your axe head, bring your axe head along. Make sure you got plenty of material to work with. So if I just kind of test fit and press this on, that's the fit we have right there. So you see there's some spacing around there, but uh, once we pound that in, that should be tight. So I can see every place that my axe uh, really bit into the handle. So I'm just going to take those parts down a little bit. Just got a little uh, four in one, four in hand file here that I actually have on loan from from Ray Bartlett. And this is uh, this is for wood. So see it cuts cuts quite uh, good. When I rehung the axe I showed you just a few minutes ago, uh, it's the first time I used one of these, and uh, I almost think it's essential for working wood handles and stuff like this. It's irreplaceable. It works so well. So I'm definitely going to be uh, picking one up for myself. Let's give it another try. See we're well up, only eight of inch or so down from the top now. And I want her to come out about a quarter inch up over. I want it to seat close to this line here. You want to pick your line where to kind of build your shoulder and uh, this is where I want it to be. And. Uh, and where we have it there, it's stopped again now, it's starting to build up shavings along here. And we're still a ways from getting there, so I know we're not able to pound it that much farther. So I'm going to knock it back off and, uh, and remove some more material. You clearly see. If you keep doing this, you can clearly see the, the high spots that need to come down. So you gotta work on those, it's as easy as that. Here's my third time trying, and uh, here's where we are. So this is pretty close to what we want. I wouldn't mind it being uh, a little farther down over there, but I'm not going to force it right now. What I'm going to do is uh, haul this head back off and uh, work on the handle. I wanted to make sure I had a, uh, a good handle, that I could get a good fit here, before I really put a lot of time into uh, milling this handle down like I want. So. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work and I'm going to pound it on and, uh, and wedge it. You see, it's not uh, 
we don't have all the material in the world here but once once uh, you get a wooden wedge and a couple steel wedges in there you got no worries that's going to be real tight this is a little spoke shave my uh, buddy Ray also gave me to use it's just on loan and uh, it's really taking away a lot of sanding work by being able to do this you can do it uh, just with sandpaper but I'm going to choose the quicker way of this time working very nicely Well, here it is guys I spent about uh, honestly maybe about an hour shaving down this handle I really removed a lot of material with the spoke shave and the, and the rasp just thinned out especially down here took a lot of that bulk out uh, the head it's not the prettiest but or the hanging sorry not my best job but it's tight, you can be sure of that. Um, the eye of this axe head was a bit longer this way than, um, than the handle had material. So, you can spot the little wedge there. Not that it would need it because uh, it's super tight back here, packed really tight. And uh, those steel rings were really hard to get in.